nothing like coffee right before you change your ostomy bag is what I always say. It's probably the worst idea among worst ideas. I don't know, that didn't make a whole lot of sense, but uh, I'm actually here to, uh, I wanted to share a little uh, tip with you guys that I learned from my ostomy nurse uh, years ago, in fact. Um, it is uh, how to measure uh, your wafer for your stoma. And the importance of that is, um, of course, uh, a few uh, really important reasons that I actually learned. One, I had no idea about, and I was actually causing dam damage to my stoma itself. So I'm incredibly glad that my nurse uh, explained what I was doing wrong, and so that way I could fix it in the future. Um, what the problem actually was, is I was cutting my wafer as small as possible to just to the point where it would fit around my stoma. And the reason for that was I figured, okay, there's going to be less skin showing and therefore more skin will be protected by the wafer and so my skin won't get uh, red, uh, itchy, uh, raw, and just burn, sting, and otherwise, as a lot of you I'm sure know. So anyways, that was my, my theory and my uh, method for doing that. But in turn, uh, what it turned out to be was in cutting my wafer so small, uh, the bottom side of my wafer, when I bent down, leaned over, when you do, you know, daily things, it was actually sawing back and forth at the bottom of my ostomy or my stoma, and I didn't realize it because I, at the time, never looked uh, at the bottom of my stoma. Obviously, you need a mirror in order to do so, which uh, I couldn't find for the life of me. Um, but every so often, I will check the bottom of my stoma to make sure that I'm not cutting into it with my wafer. And, uh, again, the reason for that is if you cut through the bottom of your stoma, it will actually leak out there, and then it will go straight to uh, the wafer and where it meets your skin, and it can cause all kinds of leaking problems and so on and so forth. So, what I was going to do today was go over... I've got the Hollister version. Um, all brands or all companies make a little uh, uh, measuring chart such as this. Um, this one comes in the uh, wafer box. So when you get a box of Hollister wafers, this comes in it. And it basically is just as you see. So um, what I was going to do is change my ostomy and in doing so, uh, show you at least how I go about measuring my stoma to get the appropriate size for cutting it out. And that way you don't cause damage to the underside. Um, again, I highly, highly recommend getting a, a mirror to look at the bottom side of your stoma. Um, I think, uh, at least I know I was, I was completely ignorant in the fact that, oh, well, you know, I can't see it, and I just had no idea that anything was going on. And obviously it doesn't hurt, so um, you can't feel the sensation of it cutting through your your stoma. So, okay, wish me luck here. I uh, have been drinking coffee, so this could go horribly wrong. But, uh, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it doesn't. So, anyways... I'm just going to clean up my site here a little bit. And my skin is looking a little raw and bad. I know. It's a horrible thing. Um, but anyways, so uh, basically I what I do is, so I just kind of take an eye measurement and put it over there. And what I like to do is, I don't know if you can really see this, but... I like to look for a little bit of skin all the way around my stoma when I put on the measurement sheet. And again, uh, it's, it's going to vary a little bit from person to person because the stoma, again, in my nature anyways, the nature of mine is it balloons out and then it comes back to the, the base where it comes out of your skin. 
So it's going to get your wafer wet, sadly, when uh, you put your uh, wafer on. And that is another um, great tip that I have learned over the years from my ostomeners is be um, really adamant about drying your, uh, your stoma off before you put your wafer on. Um, because the more uh, moisture around your stoma that gets onto the wafer, um, the easier it is and the faster it's basically going to come up off of your skin. So definitely try and dry your stoma off as best as possible. Um, paper towels I find do a great job. Um, and the reason why I like paper towels or an actual towel as opposed to toilet paper, um, I know toilet paper is generally readily, readily available because generally speaking, at least for me anyways, I do this in the bathroom. Um, but toilet paper, uh, I find, actually tends to cling to my stoma. Um, and even more so than that, when I put my skin barrier on, it, uh, it clings to that really bad. And then it's hard to get off and then you have to re-clean it and so on and so forth. So I find toilet paper actually doesn't, uh, doesn't really work all that well for me anyways. Um, so I don't use toilet paper anymore because I find it just makes more of a mess um, than anything else. And I've actually gone to places such as uh, uh, Ross and uh, I believe it was Michael's and I got uh, towels. Um, you can get them at a discounted rate. Um, you can get them anywhere, of course. And I have specific towels that I bought solely for the purpose of using to change my ostomy. Um, because, you know, when you get blood or so on and so forth on them, they can get uh, stained. And I don't necessarily want to know if you want to... At least I don't necessarily want to have those in my bathroom. Um, but they're great for changing my ostomy. Um, and... Paper towels, again, uh, work, I find work really well. So I um, cut this out and I'm putting my barrier ring on right now. Um, but again, um, I probably should have measured this out beforehand. Um, I would say, uh, you know, a couple millimeters uh, to a quarter of an inch uh, uh, gap uh, around your your stoma itself um, is is at least what I like to have. Um, I'm probably a little bit over cautious just because of the fact that I know that the bottom side of my stoma is actually cut, and I am worried that it's going to cut all the way through. And then when it does, um, then all kinds of bad news um, ensues. So um, in that, I try and cut over. Uh, a little bit, um, probably more so than is actually needed. Um, but uh, again, I think it's a great idea and I'd rather uh, have that be an issue now than uh, cut through my stoma. So, um, oh yeah, we dried this and we've got a, it's not sticky anymore. So we're just gonna put it on right here. And there we go and put the bag on as fast as possible, and we lucked out and didn't make a mess. <laughs> oh man, now I can have a cup of coffee. Huh. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, so, but uh, I hope that was helpful, and I hope it gives you guys um, a great idea um, and in cutting your stoma or your wafer rather um, the proper size um, it can uh, be very bad if you cut it too small but obviously if you cut it too large it can also um, leave an amazing amount of skin uh, open to the stool inside of your bag so um, finding the right size to cut your wafer I think uh, it's it's kind of a, a trial and error try it um, see how you know if you cut it too big um, the wafer can sometimes not last as long because there's more skin and it's just uh, at least for me anyways um, it doesn't seem to last as long if I cut it large too large um, but again just uh, try trial and error and uh, yeah uh, recommend getting a mirror checking underneath your stoma um, and getting a measurement tool and making double checking. Uh, I hope that helped you guys, and if you liked, um, yeah, if you guys liked the video, uh, please thumbs up it, and continue to watch. Thank you guys, and I hope you have a great day.